Good day, Carolinians. I'm Miss Giselle, your storyteller of the day. It's almost Christmas, and I know some of you are so excited. Some kids are starting to write their wish list, and some are hanging stocking on their Christmas tree and waiting for Santa's gift. But what is really the meaning of Christmas? Why do we have to celebrate it? Today, our story is entitled, Why is there an elephant in my Christmas manger? by Jose Aranas. This book won the Cardinal Sin Book Award as the best book children in 2019. Are you now ready? Are you ready now, Carolinians? I want you to sit back, relax, and enjoy the story, okay? Why is there an elephant in my Christmas manger? by Jose Aranas. A long time ago, a king from Africa saw a bright star in the sky. Later that night, while he was sleeping, an angel appeared to him in a dream and told him, Today, the king of kings has been born in Bethlehem, in Palestine. If you want to visit him, you just have to follow the bright star that will lead you to the great king called Emmanuel. When the African king awoke, he immediately looked for gifts such as gold, silver, diamonds, as well as animals like giraffe, tiger, camels, and so many others. Among his animals, his favorite was a small elephant called Jolifant. The king said, Do not be afraid, Jolifant, for I will not give you to the great king. You are the only one I will keep with me as my beloved treasure because you are so good and dependable. Then the king embraced and kissed his small elephant, which blushed with embarrassment. On the same day, after having prepared his gift, the king, together with his soldier, embarked upon a long trip, bringing his camels and treasures. He also brought along his favorite jolly font, following the bright star. They climbed the mountains and hills and journeyed through the forest and desert. Sometimes they lost track of the star because of the clouds that covered the skies at night. The most difficult part of their journey was the desert. It was really very hot during the day and so cold by night. Many animals died in the desert because of the extreme conditions and because they used all their water supply. The soldiers little by little began to desert the king because they feared dying along the way. In the end, only the king and Jolly Fox remained. During the journey across the desert, they ran into some marauders who asked the king to give all the money and treasure he had. When the king told them he didn't have any, the brigands threatened to kill him. Suddenly, Jolifant rushed to the scene and with his short trunk, defended the king from robbers. Nonetheless, he succeeded in stealing all the treasure of the king. Now the two had nothing to the great king. Shortly after, they have spotted again the bright star, which has pointing to the nearby city. It showed that they have near the Bethlehem the birthplace of the king called Emmanuel. The African king told Jolifant, I don't know what to do anymore. They have stolen everything. I cannot show up to the palace of the great king empty-handed. His family would believe that I am a king because I have no treasure to give him. Maybe it's better to return to my kingdom because surely they won't allow me to enter his palace. Jolifant saw the sadness of the king and suddenly inspired. He tried to his king that there was hope because he still had treasure. And Jolifant pointed to himself. The king understood what the elephant was trying to say, but he replied, You are my treasure. Better for us to return to our kingdom rather than to meet the great king in our 
present condition. You are more important to me than anything else in the world. The light of the bright star led to the small shack for animals. Jolifant ran toward the shack and the king, haggard with suffering, followed him. Guess what the two saw? There was no great palace, no soldiers, no bodyguards to protect the new king. There were only few animals, some sheep, cows, and donkeys, some elephants, with the mother, father, and the newborn king lying in the manger. The uncertainties of the African king disappeared. Overcome by peace and joy, he found on the face of the beautiful mother of the baby. With her spouse standing with caring, vigilance, the baby Emmanuel was so very sweet and adorable. Jolifon started to caress the elephant with his small trunk, making the latter smile. The African king, quite moved into tears, said to the parents to the newborn king, I didn't expect the great king to be poorer than me. I don't have any gifts anymore, for they were all stolen during our journey. Then looking his favorite pet, he said, I only have one remaining treasure, my elephant Jolifon. Please accept him as my gift. The mother, seeing the king's pain, said, We thank you for your great generosity, but your presence alone has been more than the gift to us. You don't have to be part with your elephant. She continued, I understand your situation because we have also taken a long trip. Now it is important to be both of you to eat and gather strength to be able to return to your people who anxiously wait your return. Then her husband prepared some bread and soup for the two to eat. For some days they remained in the shop. Jollifant played with the baby. The African king listened to his parents' extraordinary experiences before the child was born. A few days later, the other kings came bringing gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Here we end this story because the African king and Jolifan, they join the other kings on their way back on their respective kingdom. Now you shouldn't be amazed to see a small elephant in the Christmas manger because in a long time ago, an African king with his pet elephant braved the elements and survived the brigands to pay homage to the king called Emmanuel, which means God is with us. The end. Did you enjoy this story? Who is your favorite character? Is it the African king? Or jolly font. What have you learned in this story? The story looks into friendship of the king and the elephant. It is a friendship full of determination to surmount the obstacle on the way to be able to visit the king. I believe you will agree with me if I say this is the picture of a true friendship. We also have to remember the real meaning of Christmas. It's not about the gift, the clothes, the delicious food that we eat, but how God loved us that he sent his only son, Jesus Christ, into the world to save us from our sins. Before I end up the session, I will give you a pity. Yes, a performance task. Do you have a manger or Belen in your house? Yes? No? Yes? If yes, I want you to whisper, Baby's Jesus on the 24th midnight of December and tell him your birthday wishes and promises to him. Who knows? Jesus may grant you wishes. Thank you for listening, Carolinians, and enjoy your holiday with your family. Keep on reading, Carolinians. Goodbye until next storytelling session. Merry Christmas, everyone!